Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is June 25th, 2019. And I'm just curious, how many of you guys remember this video? Man begs Harvey Dent for help after defrauding a dealership. It was made February 9th, 2018. And it was made with regards to a man named Marvin Miller. Marvin actually placed up on his own channel, uh, calling himself a sovereign citizen, stating sovereign citizen. Marvin attempts to buy a $72,000 car with his TDA and Social Security account. Now, Marvin is um, a, a special kind of gentleman, we'll say. Marvin liked to follow Harvey Dent, and like Heather Ann Tucci and Randall Keith Bean, Marvin found himself behind bars due to following Harvey's actual um, advice. Now, um, I won't go any further into that because, of course, Mr. Dent takes absolutely no responsibility whatsoever for putting out the crappy information that he does. Uh, he himself actually attempted to try to buy a $50,000 uh, Nissan 370 with a promissory note, and the cops were called, and he was thrown off of the dealership because of it. Marvin was simply copying that process and was proud of himself because he believed he had gotten further as they had actually released the vehicle uh, to him because Marvin went several steps further. One of the things that he did was he falsely um, tried to put ACH funds from his supposed Social Security checking account into a Fidelity account to the tune of $100,000. While that was pending, because of course it has to clear before it's available through Fidelity, he went down to a BMW dealership and he showed where those funds were pending to the desk man and then wrote out a bogus check with his Federal Reserve routing number and his false Social Security account information on it that he had had printed up and wrote him out an accepted for value promissory note. For those of you that would like to actually watch this video to go back and refresh on what you might have missed if you didn't see this back last year, I will link it in the description for you. Marvin ended up spending a year behind bars in the county jail in Brawford County, Florida due to a few different things, um, but he was charged with uh, several counts of fraud due to following Mr. Dent's advice. It seems that Marvin has found himself in trouble again. Now, the current charges are trespass uh, occupying a structure or a conveyance. I'm able to find a docket number and a case number. I'm even able to find bond information, which would have allowed him to bond out unless he had other um, charges that had not been taken care of, which is actually implied here. Uh, it states that he was arrested on the 19th of April, 2019, but his court date was May 6th of 2019, and it actually appears that he was incarcerated during that time. If I go up here to the Brawford County Sheriff's Office inmate information, we see it is Marvin G. Miller. Um, he, you know, we get all of the information, including his birth date, which was just a couple days ago. Happy birthday to you, Marvin. Um... And he was arrested by Palm Bay Police Department. I've got a booking number uh, and I've got all kinds of information with regards to uh, the agency case number and a docket number for both the bond information and the current charges. However, I have been unable to actually find a court case. So if anybody has the opportunity to look and finds one, I would sure appreciate it. If you would put it in the comment section or email me at virgotriad at protonmail.com so that I can take a look at it. Because currently, I don't know whether Marvin's being held on other charges that are not listed here on the arrest uh, mugshot or uh, if Marvin is actually out on bond. But I sure would like to know what's going on with him. It's been about four months since he's posted anything on his YouTube channel. And as you know, we try to keep up with people who uh, find themselves victim to con artists like 
Mr. Dent. So um, I'm kind of reaching out to you guys because I didn't have a real long time to search, but I wasn't able to actually locate anything with those two numbers, and I haven't had the chance to even call yet to determine. Um, however, on the Facebook Robert County Sheriff's site, you can locate this information, and I will link uh, the Brawford sheriff.com site that this comes off of so you guys can get all the information off of it uh, it does appear that uh, according to this that he was incarcerated due to open charges but I don't know if those charges are the trespassing uh, charges that he got after he had already been warned not to go back on the property or if they are charges that were pending because he was still on probation or on parole so it's kind of a um, toss up there and since I haven't found any other information yet I basically just wanted to update everybody who knows who Marvin is and let everybody know he seems to be having some issues again all right everybody I'm going to be looking into doing sovereign citizen history today and I think it's gonna be an interesting one for you guys so I'll look at having that posted this afternoon and I hope everybody has a great day bye bye